የኢትዮጵያውያን እና የኢትዮጵያ ወዳጆች የኢትዮጵያን የከፍታ ዘመን የሚያብስር ልዩ ስነ ስርዓትን እዚ መስቀል አደባባይ ከሚገኘው የአዲስ መንግስት መስረታና የባለ ሲመት ልዩ ዝግጅታችን በእያላችሁበት እየተከታተላችሁ ነው እዚ በመድረክ ላይ ከመታያቸው እንግዶቻችን በተጨማሪ በዚ አዲስ መንግስት መስረታ ባለ ሲመት ላይ ለመታደም ከልዩ ልዩ የአፍሪካ ሀገራት መሪዎችም መድረክ ላይ ይገኛሉ። የተከበሩ ዮሪ ካጉታ ሙሴቪኒ የዩጋንዳ ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ ኢስማኤል ኦመር ጌሌ የጅቡቲ ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት ለተሽሉሊ የተከበሩ ሳልቫኪር ማርዴት የደቡብ ሱዳን ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ ማኪሳል የሴኔጋል ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ ኡሁሩ ኬንያታም የኬንያ ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ ማሙዱ ባህሪ የናይጄሪያ ፌደራላዊ ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ መሐመድ አብዱላህ ፈርማጆ የሶማሌ ፌደራል ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ ሙሳ ፋኪ መሐመድ የአፍሪካ ህብረት ኮሚሽን ሊቀ መንበር የተከበሩ ጃን ሚሼል ሳማ ሎንዴ የኮንጎ ዲሞክራቲክ ሪፐብሊክ ተክላይ ሚኒስተር የተከበሩ ዶክተር ወርቀነ ገበየው የኢጋድ ዋና ጻሃፊ የተከበሩ ኦሊሴንጎ ኖባሳንጆ የቀድሞው የናይጄሪያ ፌደራል ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት የተከበሩ ራማታን ላማምራ ያልጄሪያ የውጭ ጉዳይ ሚኒስትር ፐብሊክ ተክላይ ሚኒስትር የተከበሩ ዶክተር ሙላቱ ተሾመ የቀድሞው የኢትዮጵያ ፌደራል ዲሞክራሲ ሪፐብሊክ ፕሬዝዳንት አብራውን የሚገኙናቸው በዛሬው ለት በኢትዮጵያ ፌደራል ዲሞክራሲ ሪፐብሊክ የህዝብ ተኮሽ ምክር ቤት አዲስ መንግስት ሲመሰረትም ጠቅላይ ሚኒስትር በመሆን ቃለ መሐላ ይፈጸሙ የፌደራል ጠቅላይ ሚኒስትር አብይ አህመድና ቀዳማዊ ጽመቤት ወይዘሮ ዘናሽ ታያቸው እንደዚሁም የአዲስ አበባ ከተማ አስተዳደር ከንቲባ ክብርት ወይዘሮ አዳነች አበቤ ከጠል ስለ ኢትዮጵያና በየኮ በተሰኙ ሀገረ የሙዚቃ አልበሞች ከተሳተፉ ሙዚቀኞች መካከል አቡሽ ዘለቀ በቲጂ እንደዚሁም ሌሎች ሙዚቃቸውን የሚያቀርቡ ይሆናል ወደዛው ትሪት አመራለሁ አመሰግናለሁ
ታችን በመላው ዓለም እየተከታተላችሁ ያላችሁ ታዳሚዎቻችን በየቤታችሁ መሄን ለዩ ስነ ስርዓት የመንግስት ብስርታና የባለ ሲመት ስነ ስርዓት እየተከታተላችሁ ስላላችሁና መሰግናለን ድምጻችሁን ታዳሚዎች ቀነስ ታደርጉልን ዘንድ በክብር ጠይቃለሁ አስተማባሪዎች ይሄን እንደታደርጉ ጠይቃለሁ ያስተዋውቋችሁ እንግዶች ተራ በተራ መልእክት እንዲያስተላልፉ የምጋብዝ ይሆናል ኦቦኢትዮጵያ well but to remember that politics of interest or politics of identity thank you very much prime minister Thank you Mr President I now invite His Excellency Salva Kiir Meardet President of the Republic of South Sudan Your Excellencies, the Presidents who are attending, His Excellency Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, all the leaders of Ethiopia. I'm not coming here to make a speech. I'm just here 
to greet you, to greet you people of Ethiopia. And to congratulate you and my brother Abi Ahmed for this, for the victory that you have scored for him. Without your votes, you would have not been voted in. I warn you all to stand with him and to drive towards the peace. I came here in August in a one-day visit and I said that we won Ethiopia which is our mother, our great mother. Being a South Sudanese without Ethiopia, we would have not been what we are today. And because of that, we don't want the situation that happened to us in, Ethiopia, in, in South Sudan to happen to, people, to the people of, South, of, of Ethiopia. We want everything to be resolved through dialogue and by peaceful means. I said the other time when I came here, I said that Emperor Helo Selassie was the first to, but with all that in heart, he did not chase us away. He led us, he stayed in with him, and he gave us the support which established SPLM, SPLA. When he was overthrown and late Malaz Zanawi came into power, he did not forget the people of South Sudan. He again gave us the support even more than what Mangisto gave us. After Malaz Zanawi, the people coming after him never turned us away. And I so pledge my sincere greetings to all of you, the people of Ethiopia. And we will always stand with you. Wherever you want to go, we will go with you. I have no more words to tell you. I just came to pass my congratulations to my brother, my younger brother, Dr. Rabi Hamid. And I wish him all the good, the best of luck. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you here. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much indeed. I now invite His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, President of the Republic of Djibouti. Rahim Excellencies Sahara Work Zaudi President of Ethiopia Dr. Abi Ahmed Prime Minister of Ethiopia 
Great Excellencies, Heads of the States and Governments, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It gives me pleasure to be here today to witness more the enduring democratic process in our brotherly country of Ethiopia. It is also an honor for me to convey my best heartfelt congratulations to His Excellency Abi Ahmed on this auspicious occasion. Mr. Prime Minister, I stand before you today to bring you a message of hope and encouragement on my own behalf and on behalf of my people. We also bring to you and to the people of Ethiopia the well wishes and support of the Djiboutian people. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, with a proud history dating back to the Abyssinian empires, Ethiopia has taken the lead on many African, pan-African issues, whether as the first African country member of the League of the Nations in the late 1920, or as the birthplace of the organization of African unity, now, now known as the African Union. More recently, Ethiopia has also charted an unprecedented path of growth and development that has served as a locomotive for the entire continent as a whole, but more importantly, for our region. As we all know, throughout this long and glorious history, Ethiopia has gone through many defining moments and has always come out stronger. It has belied the dogmas of those who condemned them her to ruin. It has always remained united in the face of a struggle. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much indeed. I now invite His Excellency Makisal, President.